Hey guys, Alton here. First off, I want to say thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. Now in today's video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at one of my selected lectures from my eight hour introduction to Windows Server 2016 for beginners course. So let's go ahead and let's get into it. All right, so one of the first things that we need to do with our domain controller is to add our PC clients to our domain. So meaning our Windows 10 PC, we need to add it to our domain because if we don't add it to our domain, then users can't log into the domain. So there are a couple of different ways in which we can add a computer to Active Directory. One is from the computer itself and another is from the server. So let's go over to the server. On the left over here, I have our Windows 10 PC, and on the right, I have the server. So in Server Manager, if you go to Tools, you're going to notice that now we have multiple different tools for Active Directory. We want to click on Active Directory Users and Computers. So within here, and if this is the first time that you opened it up, it may not be expanded, and you may see it from this perspective. You want to go to your domain. You want to expand that out and you're going to notice that there is a container for computers. There's nothing in here. We can right click in here or we can right click on here. We can simply right click anywhere within here and we can go to new and say computer and add a computer in. And what you need to do is put in the computer name. Now we're not going to do it this way because we're actually going to change the name of our Windows 10 computer. Now we changed the name of the virtual machine up here, but in the operating system we haven't changed the name. So if we've changed the name initially, we can simply type it in here. But if you're going to actually change the name within the operating system when you add it, then you can't do it this way. But if you have a bunch of systems that you've created and they're ready to deploy and you know the names, you can just simply type them in here and it'll create a little holding container or holding computer to associate with them later. So let me go ahead and cancel out of here because we're not going to do it this way. I just wanted to show you you could do it that way. Let's go ahead and let's log in to our Windows 10 PC1. Now we're only going to do it with one of our PCs. So we cloned it. If you want to practice it with both of them, you could definitely do it. What we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and add our desktop icon. So I'm going to go right click, go to personalize, and then we're going to go to themes, scroll down. And we're going to choose desktop icon settings. And then we're going to go ahead and just add everything in just like we did on our server. Hit OK and get out of there. Now, the easiest way to get to the area to change the name is simply by right clicking on this PC and going to properties. And then it's going to take us to the system page rather than having to go to our control panel and then within control panel go to system security and then to system. This is just a faster way. So I like to do it this way. But if you wanted to go through control panel, you could just do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on change settings to change the computer name. So you'll notice that it's called desktop with a nice long random name at the end. And it's part of the work group. So we're going to click change name. And then for system properties, we're going to click on change for the computer name. And I'm going to call this Win 10 PC1. And then we're going to say it's a member of a domain. I'm going to type in the name of our name, alnet.com. I'm going to hit OK. And now it's going to prompt me in about five seconds or so for our domain administrator account. So I'm going to do alnet forward slash administrator and my administrator password. And you'll notice that I put this here just to be safe. I put our specific domain, domain just like we did over here when we logged in. And so I'm going to say OK. And what you'll notice is that it now says, welcome to alnet.com domain. Hit OK. And it says you need to restart to apply these changes. So we're going to go ahead and let this restart. So we'll let this restart. And if I go over here and I right click and I say refresh, now our Windows 10 PC1 is listed as a computer on our domain. And if we click into it, here it shows the actual long DNS name, win10pc1.alnet.com. And it's a workstation or a server. 
here's the actual PC name. We click on the operating system. It shows us the operating system. It shows us what our, it's a member of. So it's a member of our users and some additional information as well. So now if we go back to our Windows 10 machine, we can go ahead and what we want to do is actually, if we did this and we typed in our password here, this is going to log us into our local computer. So we have to go to other users and you'll notice it says sign into Alnet. So just to be safe, always do Alnet forward slash and that's going to make sure that it's signing into the domain the first time. We haven't created any user account, so we're going to log in with our administrator account. And it's going to create our profile because it's the first time logging into the domain and this account on this machine. So it's going to give us the welcome message that it typically would do when it's setting it up for the first time. So let's go ahead and just make this full screen. Um, but this is uh, going to allow us to have this computer now on our domain. And then in the next video where I'm going to talk about managing our Active Directory user accounts, we're going to create some user accounts. I'm going to show you how to use those to log into the domain. And we'll demonstrate some different things that we can do with our user accounts as well. So now this system is set up and it is now logging into our Active Directory domain. So if you wanted to practice doing this, you could simply go to your Windows 10 PC2 and do the exact same thing. Now, before we end the video, let's make sure that we take a snapshot. So I'll go to machine, take snapshot, and I'll say added computer to Active Directory domain. And that way we have a snapshot of the system added to our Active Directory domain. So that's going to conclude our video. If you have any questions, please let me know. If not, thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next video. Take care. Well, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and you learned a lot from it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're interested in taking this full course or just learning more about it, check out the video description down below because I've included a link where you can learn more about the course and enroll into it if you'd like. So again, thanks for watching my video. I appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you guys at the next video. Take care.